Hi guys, Rob here, uh, back with another video for our my uh, using my Unity to create a Pokemon battle game tutorial series. This picture is not my own. Uh, got it off the internet, Google Squirtle. Went to Google Images and grabbed one of the ones I thought was cool. So all due rights to the respective owner. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, now if we look at this guy, uh, you'll see some techniques here. So what I did here, basically uh, made a sphere. I believe I made this actually by using that cube approach I showed. You make a cube, smooth it, hit G to give it more polygons, cut it in half, uh, extrude it out so it gets some thickness, extrude some of these faces out here, extrude that out there. Now here I did these extrusions inward with another sphere. Right, so these are two little spheres stuck together. You can see that here, or, or just pushed together. Right, in here, jump, jumped in, used the multi-cut tool to cut up this polygon so I went to mesh tools multi cut tool and just started dropping in uh, cutting out the shape that I wanted just so I could properly texture it uh, so we'll get rid of that uh, you know did lay, laid out those textures there um, what else made these arms here so I have these I believe I cut off the bottoms yep flattened out the bottoms so you'll see here one of these arms looks like that or not even flattened out just, just pulled it in a little bit uh, scaled it in so that's the approach there pull out his toes those are just extrusions uh, smooth the mesh uh, so you, the one key um, is actually good for so the one key just puts it the mesh as it is the two key shows you a smooth preview with a wireframe outline of where the mesh actually is and the three key is actually the uh, so the full smooth preview without the wireframe outline these are not officially smoothed, uh, as you'll notice when I do this. Uh, to officially smooth these, which I should have done already, I'll just unsmooth all these real quick, or unsmooth preview them. So I have like this sort of stuff, and I'll just bang, bang. Okay. Got those, and now I just want to smooth the mesh with just this. Select it, mesh, smooth. Select this, mesh, smooth. Select this, mesh, smooth. And you, you get the hint. So that's how I do that there. So Squirtle, what I, what I basically did, uh, just to break it down for you guys, uh, six Pokemon total. Uh, it's not meant to be all exclu or, or all inclusive or extensive there. Uh, just check and see if that was smooth. I'll just smooth that out right there, modify, mesh, and then smooth. And uh, what I actually want to do here is I'm just going to take a look at this guy now. Um, yeah, so I have him here. So like I was saying, uh, so I did Pikachu and Squirtle, those are my basic Pokemon, uh, those were for beginners, uh, and that was to show you basic modeling techniques. Then the goal with Ivysaur and Charmeleon was, okay, now we're moving into some more intermediate stuff, uh, you know, use the, um, use various techniques, use the Revolve technique, use, uh, how do we create polygons, to create polygon tool, even though we did some of that here. Um, and really what I was thinking was, okay, uh, what can I introduce here? Well, what I could introduce is Particle Effects and Unity. Uh, so Charmeleon has that little flame on the back of his tail, on his tail, on the end on the tip there. And uh, Ivysaur, I figured we could do a little uh, bit of a particle glow emitting from his uh, his flower on his back. Uh, so that's 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 why I made those choices. And then Dialga and Palkia, uh, sorry, Dialga and ho -Oh, uh, I just really tried to do, de uh, you know, not fully detailed, but just those are your more advanced characters, those are your legendaries. Uh, you make them look really nice, and then you know use some particle effects, and you know this way when we have the game, you know each player will get a basic, uh, a legendary, and an intermediate. Uh, it's not gonna be the best battle game, but it's gonna show you how to combine these techniques from Maya and Unity. Uh, but now that you saw how I made that Squirtle, uh, I'm actually gonna um, basically cut off this video here, and then I'm gonna go through some of the other Pokemon I made, discuss some more techniques, and you'll be well on your way. Uh, to becoming a Pokemon master, no, but you'll be well on your way to mastering Maya and Unity, uh, with you know, it, to having a bit more in-depth knowledge uh, on your on your journey to to continue that. So thanks, guys. Uh, hope to see you next tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.